our little sister is about to gush all over our new friend, the newest member of the group. Who is it? Uh, I should know her name. She's the idol girl. She's like a very ooh, ooh soft girl, but her powers is like speaking to the dead. Not really speaking. She like possesses the dead. Dead spirits can possess her and then she can use their powers. Her sister who died in the past obviously died when she was like still in puberty. Therefore, she still had the powers, but she's able to just like phase into big sister and just use like flame powers. I don't think that she has control over it. I think that's yeah, it's you setting. I think that like the sister can just take over when she wants to. I'm not completely sure of the mechanic, but hey, that is our new roster for now. I think that we're going to either get more new characters or go into a completely new arc. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. 7 a.m. Pretty early. <sighs> snooze. And then it's going to be 7.30. And then I snooze. Then it's 8.30. And then it's shit. I got 30 minutes to go before I go to work. This is pizza toast. This is fucking pizza toast with your fucking sweet sauce. I'm surprised you didn't fucking put the pizza sauce in the salad too, man. Oh, okay. Only thing that's gonna get started is my fucking shit in the toilet after I eat this. Secret pizza sauce. What's good? She's gonna give us diabetes. She's actually gonna give us diabetes at this rate. This isn't funny anymore. I refuse. Listen, she does a great job. She's a very supportive little sister. She gets up super early to make us bento. I appreciate that. But goddamn, girl, you go give me fucking diabetes at this rate. <laughs> he never shits on her. He never, like, tells her the truth and be like, you know what? That pizza sauce is fucking trash. Stop putting everything in it. Because it would break her small heart, right? So at least he's like, uh. It's, uh, it's all right. Not that bad. I think it is that bad. <laughs> no, brother. Sometimes, you know, you gotta little, have little white lies, right? You, you, you can't just break your little sister's heart. Today's episode is called... A moment, a, a, a moment of what? A moment of honesty. And yes, Yusa. Yusa Dean is about to transfer a new transfer student. Dude, now it just, now it's just so like confusing to me. I can't get a grasp on her character personality. She's just like sometimes so lonely, sometimes so deep, sometimes just so funny, sometimes so petty. Maybe that is everything now is. And she has multiple sides that I just. And she's not just like this one type of character. Yeah, you said she'd be going to the school that the girls go in Oshinoko. Where's she gonna sit? Yeah, you said it! Oh my god! Haro haro! All the guys just fucking. This guy, dude. You guys have a shot with you, Sarim, bro. <laughs> no, they just they're just happy to be graced by the you know the the goddess's touch, you Sarim, bro. She self-proclaimed you Sarim. <laughs> right, the Kurumani thing was like the black feathers or something about how her idol image would be kind of tarnished, right? If you know it was related to stuff like that, so they had a different name. And then Takajo was like, <laughs> fucking casual. I already knew that last episode. Huh? Away for work occasionally. Idol work? Probably idol work. Not our like, you know, hunting ESP work. She's not officially joined yet either, right? I don't think she is. You studied. 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 You I think, I think you asked Takaju, like, what's going on with that girl? Why does she eat alone, right? I think that Takaju said that the invisibility aspect of power made her into this. And then after that, we were kind of left to figure out what that really meant. But if other people kind of knows that her power is about invisibility and kind of just like 
stalking people, then obviously she's going to have a bad reputation. And on top of that, even stuff like this, being beside you setting, right, makes her even hated more. So now is intentionally quiet and ruminating in class because she knows that this is the best course of action. And if it's best to not to kind of just like, if she did something, if she was more bright and active, I, I guess other people would bully her more, have more reasons to hate. <laughs> No, you can't be doing that, Lisa. No, you, you're making the move. Please. Already, if he gets her number. If he gets her number, bro, no shot. It's an idol's email address, though. Which probably gets managed by some other dude. Moi Moi Kun. Mickey up Mickey up Now kiss. She just defuses fights like this, huh? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Charm number 13, by the way. Who knows how many charms there are? That's just 13 out of the other unique skills. Make you a bee. It worked. It actually worked. It, it actually worked, though. Poor horoscopes? So a bunch of girls shows up and it's like, oh damn, and I'm an Aquarius today. Today's gonna fucking suck or some other bullshit. And then she goes up and says, make yuppie, make yuppie. Wait, no, 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 no. This is the other magic charms. We only use, that was number 13. There's some other stuff there. 69. What now? <laughs> Walks in, dripping wet, says nothing. Put finger out. No ryoku. Leaves. Giga Chad. Okay. Yusarin is gonna be working with us. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Oh, you don't wanna know how much he knows. I live in your walls. I know what you're gonna eat for dinner tonight. This is beyond fanboy. This is like a cult member. We wait for dripping wet man to show up and say noryoku and leave and then we go for the target. I love this outside. This is the best part of the episode for Charlotte for me. The same soundtrack to every time. It's so good. This is so good. You said it's actually really scared. <laughs> telekinesis? <laughs> Move stuff. Nah, this telekinesis is gonna be so bullshit, bro. Like, when I think telekinesis, I'm thinking like, oh, you can move any fucking objects at will and do some fucking magneto shit. But it's probably gonna be like, this person can move objects, but the limits, the weight limit is like a fucking feather. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Yusarin. Oh, I wonder if she really doesn't know. She has no idea of the big sister taking over, huh? Koshian! Ah, the pitcher! Telekinesis! Three perfect games. So, if he throws the ball telekinesis so that the ball can like warp during the trajectory strike out every time that's kind of the implication here right strike. it fell down breaking ball breaking ball okay. i'm looking she knows her shit now has been studying that you know the grip huh. yeah pitches are fake Dude, every time you so, like, like, he is the only person that doesn't simp over you setting. I guess now doesn't either. But like, you doesn't only not simp. Bro like, shits on her in his own head. He's always like, the fuck does you, why you call yourself you setting cringe? It's like, bro, do you even know what the fuck is going on right now? Every one of his inner monologue thoughts just like insult to you setting, And it's kind of funny. <laughs> 
すぐ向かいましょうえ授業は生徒会に所属してる成績や内心へのデメリットはありませんどんなことですか何のようですか We're here to watch your practice. If we have Yusa, I'm starting to realize this is like we can get into anywhere because we have Yusa in. Everyone recognizes her. Oh my god, it's Yusa in, right? So it's like easy. What is this? Either a really great liar or he doesn't know. Oh, dude, imagine that. Yeah, like you get scouted, go to the MLB, you're like the best pitcher of all of Japan because of, you know, all that fucking shit. And then you lose the skill. And then you're in the major leagues. And you're fucked. You're a fucking scammer. You suck at pitching. Where did all the talent go? Career over, life over. That's actually. This is actually really important. Maybe he only cares about high school coach and win it and then quit. We should... <laughs> I was gonna say... You know that flashback episode in episode 2? Like... You, of all people, he was so shitty, but he saw that and he realized all the fucked up shit that happened to our big bro. So he kind of like matured. So if all people don't understand... If only we could have like a little video recording of the big brother going insane and just like showed you people this is what's gonna happen to you if you don't fucking listen to us. That's fucked up. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> She's such a delinquent, I love it. <laughs> don't you dare! He was so quick with that. The spit went out immediate fucking frame. He went on the ground. <laughs> Should I lick it? Should I lick it? Should I lick it? No, don't do it. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Is it the fix it there or not? <laughs> I, I want to hear the licking sounds. We have a team? It might be some cliche like, oh, I have a fucking friend that died and before we had the dreams to go to the Koshian and fucking win it. I have a dying sister and her dying wish is for us to win the Koshian. He probably just wants to win the Koshian and then that's it and he'll put it down. In like Japan, the baseball culture, some of you might not what a Koshian is. Most of you might probably know. Koshian is basically like imagine the Super Bowl if you play football. Imagine like the Stanley like Cup, like a hockey tournament. It's like imagine the NBA final playoffs, right? This is like the tournament. All of Japan's high school is the best of the best gather. And like you have one shot. It's like so epic. And if you win the Koshin, it's a huge deal. And on top of that, baseball already is so fucking huge in Japan. I'm not sure if you guys know who Shohei Otani is, but him in being the MLB, like... If you look at the viewership, the demographic, like, it's crazy how much pull there is from Japan. Like, Japan's, like, audience watching baseball, like, pretty much overshadows multiple countries all at once. Like, Japan is, like, huge on baseball. And Koshin is, like, the tournament you want to win. So it's, like, a huge deal. Every kid aspires to win it. If you win the Koshin in high school, you pretty much literally peak in high school. And it's not even a bad thing. Oh, fuck, okay. Alright. <laughs> well, you. He could always just like fuck up the pitcher. Just possess them. Or like fuck up the, the hitter. Possess them. And anytime they're about to do something, you could possess them and it would be just easy. That, that would actually be super OP. The super speed, Megane? Yeah, that'd be pretty useful. Invisibility? I don't know how that would be useful. Maybe stealth, and then just like appear out of nowhere in a pocket of area where the baseball hitter, you know, hit it to that side. It's like, psych, I was there the entire time. So we're gonna be cheating a lot. I'm down. Alright, it's Diamond Ace today. That's cute. Typical idle behavior. Look at the hat on the sideways. You sighting goddamn too cute. Our future. 
お前がそう言うならやるか<laughs> Nao is just acting like a typical fucking high school coach. She just like role plays so well. Kids, but that's not the same as the old boomer coaches. Strike! Strike three! Good to know, Pitta. Oh, boy! Kuna's yay, the honky dust ceremony. None of us are eager to say that. No, you are so savage. savage. Alright, Idol, come here. Now cheer him up. Mickey Uppy! Mickey Uppy! Take the abuse! <laughs> <laughs> Call me Downy! Where the fuck did he get that outfit from? Wait, he just put that shit on so fucking quick, bro. Look at that fucking entertaining speed, bro. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking made her do it. <laughs> what do you mean, disgusting? You fucking did this. You started shit. And then you brought you setting over. There it is. Telekinesis. Big league knuckler. Just paddle on you, 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 you want a little. They probably want you setting to paddle them. Imagine you setting with a fucking paddle. Spank time. Every one of them will be fucking moaning in pleasure, bro. The catcher, his friend, Takato. This is called the battery, right? The catcher and the pitcher in sync. Battery. You study! Can you catch it? Misa. Easy. Almost. Okay, limited by the body. I don't even know what the score is actually. Is it just 0 0 the entire time? No one scored a run. Ninth inning, 0 0. I mean, they did say their batters are shit, right? If our pitcher can, you know, strike them out, that means their batters are absolute dookie, so I guess it does make sense. I think there's a runner on third, right? Okay, coach. It's time to cheat. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just praying. Oi, oi, Kimi. Oh, hey. What, what's going on? Are you, are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Is he, you gotta keep this. You don't think there's anything wrong with this? I guess they don't really know what the power is. Arifumi. Oh my god. stealing the base! Get in this way! Oh, it's 1 0! -oh. It's 1 0! -oh. We <laughs> fucked up! <laughs> Not with that attitude. Alright, Megan, it's all you. Okay. Ah, I couldn't even fucking bunt it. Ah! We can't even punt it! Takazu, come on! You gotta run, you gotta run! I think he died there. <laughs> he basically just had to... He basically had to go bunt the ball before it could even break by extending out that far. I'm not even sure if this is a fucking legal hit. Anyways, did you see him fucking crash at the end here? At the end, right over there. He makes a noise. That's what happens when he, he's not even running. He's, he's just fucking flying. Home run time. Misa is insane. If she could hit that ball. You're the one telling us to cheat. Oh! Oh! She got it! Hey, she, she did her job. She did her job. Okay, good sacrifice play. Now, you. Fucking <laughs> Misa. I guess it's not possible for him to, like, possess the pitcher, throw a really simple one, come back to the body, and hit the easy hit. Is that possible? I don't know of the latency of like switching the bodies. <laughs> Misa's trolling behind, bro. 
That shit's so annoying, bro. I don't actually like play baseball professionally. Of course not. I don't play baseball like in a team sport either, but I play baseball in like high school and shit. And I used to do this shit to fucking piss the pitcher off. It gets to them, and it's like, <laughs> I'm fucking going. <laughs> Foul. He hit it though. He actually hit it though. Uh -oh. Gotta land one in. Oh, the break! The break! What the? What did I? Catcher dropped! Catcher dropped! It actually worked in the favor! The pitcher got greedy and broke it too much! Needs a clutch? Needs a clutch? Safe! No cheating involved there. At the end, we 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 did cheat. We I mean the pitcher's cheating, bro. He fucking cheated every pitch. It was pretty cool how like you actually got was able to hit it, but then on top of that, when he decided to make it drop even more or break the ball even more, the catcher not being aware of that break and that working against his favor, it's like poetic almost that he lost because he wanted to cheat more. Nice. Yes. He's so happy about that. Because you didn't cheat. He's actually so sincere about it. At a certain point, I'm not sure if you guys can relate, but when you just cheat, if you're like playing a game or something, you just cheat, it's like you're just expected to win. So it doesn't really feel good. You feel kind of empty. There's like this like hole that you can't fill. You can win. You can win all your games. But if you're cheating, it's just like kind of just like cheapens it, right? So it's not really about winning. It's more about like having a goal. And like being able to work towards it and like honestly earning it. And when that happens, after like struggling a lot, you feel really good about it. And that's where fulfillment comes from. So it was for his friends. That's actually kind of heartwarming. I think that's kind of justified. Yourself or Takato? So profound. She got these like great sage advices sometimes. Now, <laughs> no, with my pleasure. Well, we didn't, I didn't see him take over that body, so I don't really know, but what the fuck was that? I don't understand what's going on here. Because, like, the whole thing was, hey, possess his body. And usually when we possess the body, we can see from the perspective of the body we possess, but we didn't see him do anything. And he just woke up in his own body. So what is Nao's experiment? I'm not really fully understanding, but that's some important shit for later. Little sister definitely did it. She definitely did it, dude. She's trying to fucking kill us. She's trying to fucking kill us. Yeah, pizza cream. Enough with the family recipe. <laughs> this school is fucking so ruthless, dude. They're using her immediately for advertisements to poach other students to come to Star Ocean Academy, dude. I mean, I, I guess dumb school, but damn. I want a little sister and you starting to meet. Please, it'd be so cute. Oh. <laughs> she fucking did it again. She's actually the best character. Usually, I hate little emotos, especially when there's some incest shit coming around, but this little sister in Charlotte has been fucking peak. Well, there's one, there's, there's one fucked up thing about her. It's that she uses the goddamn sweet pizza sauce for every fucking ingredient. But other than that, peak emoto. And that's today's episode. What was the point of today's episode? Uh, Yusa Yusa showing up to school. Transfer student. So popular. Apparently, there is 64 unique 
use such charms. But there's two of them that's actually duplicated. So technically, there's only 63. Megan, I had that unlocked. She basically just goes, <laughs> Wakey, makey, wakey. Don't be mad now. Makey uppy. Call me downy. And she goes, Chew. And then all the guys are like, <laughs> You sorry. And then it just works. And then now let's be like, You fucking degenerate piece of shit. It's also funny how you just constantly kind of like shits on you, Sunny. Like everyone else simps over the idol and you is like, yo, I think Loki this girl's retarded. I mean, she seems a little bit airheaded, right? There was a little bit of a self-contained story with the baseball player, you know, using his magical pitch to, you know, save his, well, help his friends try to get to higher, greater heights in baseball. But beyond that, for plot stuff, I think it was more about teaching you about the reward of hard work and effort and sincerely and honestly earning something and feeling good about life rather than just cheating and getting the short-term satisfaction and then at the end when he possessed that guy there for a bit it was very weird because usually we would see from the guy that we uh basically if you take over the body then i would expect to see you know his perspective but that didn't happen and then he just kind of woke up after falling into now that's some um, end game stuff that I'm not really sure what happened. Did it actually possess? Did it cancel? I don't know. That's for us to find out later. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.